This time, I'm going to be taking you guys on a little bit of an NA tuning journey. I have a friend's A86 drift car here, which will be getting a hidden cam upgrade. Currently, it's running a stock small port 4AG with ARP rod bolts, TRD head gasket, silver top ITBs, G4A headers, 3 inch into 2.5 inch exhaust, and a link ECU. First up, I'll show you guys a few baseline runs as it is, then we'll move on to the head upgrade. Righto, got the stock head off. As you can see, the pistons have been contacting the head. It had a 0.5mm head gasket on it, which makes things a bit too tight for zero deck height pistons. So I'll be changing that to a 0.8mm head gasket. Also, it'll be getting a fresh bottom end at some stage, so we're ignoring the smoke and the condition of the bores at this point. Here we have the modified head. It has stock valve sizes, but everything else has had some work done. Chambers, intake and exhaust ports. It's running Calford 193C cams. The advertised durations are 298 intake and 288 exhaust. They're a stock shim cam, but we went with shimless buckets rather than using the old worn out stuff and also a bit of peace of mind at high RPM.
Alright guys, so I did some more testing off camera and I found that the exhaust was the issue. So I've modified his exhaust and we're going to throw this back on, see how it goes. The exhaust mod has mostly fixed the wacky power curve, but we still seem to be a little low on power. So now what I've done is swapped my 47mm throttle setup and some test runners to rule out the intake being an issue. We're heading in the right direction with the intake setup. With a bunch more tweaks to length, cam timing and the tune, it should make some good numbers. But yeah, we've decided to call it there until it's got a fresh bottom end. So I'll put the original setup back on with a bit of porting on the intake manifold, as it's undersized compared to the intake ports. Along with a bunch of tuning and cam timing tweaks, it's making some pretty decent numbers now, so I'll show you guys that next. Also have a dyno run on this engine from when it was running the stock ECU intake manifold and some different headers. I'll chuck this in the comparisons at the end. <laughs> 